Peace. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. We had some technical difficulties. Sorry for being a few minutes late, but we do have the winners for week seven Code Jam. I'm Terry. Uh, we'll get right in since we're a little late. And uh, I wanted to, I run the consumer business for Tinker and excited to be here and share with you week seven of Code Jam. We had some technical difficulties. Sorry for being Oh my today. god. But we do have the winners for week seven co-jam. I'm Terry. Uh, we'll get right in since we're a little late. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? <laughs> Hi, I'm Vidya, and uh, you know, I'm here um, and I love the game games that came out today. And you know, I so far the code jam submissions have been fantastic. All right, everybody else, who we got? Hey, everyone. I'm Roland from the Tinker Dev team. Uh, this week's submissions blew me away. We saw so many great arcade games, and it was really fun to play them. Yeah, same. Hi, I'm Jeff, and the games were really fun. It was great to see how creative everyone was with making their game. Hey, everyone. I'm Tyler from the Tinker team as well. It was a blast to see your games. You guys really went all out this week. Definitely. All right, so we're going to get right into it. Um, Vidya, what were the criteria again? So as usual, we are looking for four main areas, right? Uh, originality, um, creativity, the kind of coding you do, the advanced coding, and the relation to the team. I also wanted to quickly talk about a couple of things, if that's OK, Terry. Yeah, go for it. So some of you had written to us you know, regarding your projects not being visible on the community page. And I wanted to assure you that we have a panel of about 14 judges and a large moderation team. And we all check out each and every submission. So if it doesn't appear on the front page, you can be sure that we have seen your project as long as it has been approved. So, you know, even if it doesn't have views or likes, or the judges are mainly looking for these four criteria that I just talked about. Definitely. So our challenge for last week was about um, making an arcade game. All right, so I'm gonna share screen and what comes up in the first one's gonna be the first winner. So is everybody talking about the first one? Go for it in just a second as I uh, share some screen here and, whoops, there we go, share sound. And who is the first winner? The first winner is King Cat. So King Cat's <laughs> invader shooter. This was one of the most advanced games we saw this week. It has smooth gameplay and it's very fun. All right, I'm gonna play a little bit here. All right, it's loading up. I'm gonna get that green ball, right? Very advanced. I love how those animations, the, the, the animation for the exploding ships. That's very cool, I think. Congratulations, King Cat. All right. Our next, uh, we got a lot of winners. We're going to show another one right here. And it is? H4, 5, N4, and Nana, the road obstacle. Love this one. Um, you know, if you if you play it, you will see that the car, the top down car, it's a racing car game, and the top down car is all hand drawn assets. And the interesting thing is that it's using color effects, so it's changing color by using code. And then you've got nice tire boosts. And, uh, let me let me, let me get that. It. I'll get it's I'll get some of that cool. sound down there. <laughs> All right. I'm going to change color. I think I want to be blue. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, that's cool. And then you have to avoid the cone and any... Oh, get those tires. tires. Oh. oh, no, I got to avoid the cone. 
go faster with the boots and avoid the mud patches and... I'm getting nervous a mud patch is going to come up on me here. <laughs> That's why I keep moving. Ah, I avoided the cones. Oh, I hit a cone. I love that high score, your high score, your score and your high score, very arcade themed. It's really cool. All right, next up. So this is a cool water bottle tosser game. Uh, you'll notice that it uses uh, three actors to make that little uh, U-shaped box. That was a, I think that was a creative use of uh, smaller multiple actors to make a larger complex actor. And if you get to one of the later levels, you'll see one of the cool uh, figure actors they use to make a door that you have to unlock. Okay, I am trying to get it in. So you guys know. <laughs> oh no, I've got only a few seconds left. Come on, Mr. Bottle. Get in here. I did it. Sort of. There we go. <laughs> All right. And the next winner is. So the next winner is Showy Braid with a unique spaceship survival game. So this one's like really rich in features. It has power-up effects with status indicators. It has animated frames when the ships take damage. And then there's a cool boss battle at the end. All right, here we go. All right, and I got to be careful with this one because this one killed me before. Oh, I got to get down here. Gotcha. Those status and those boost indicators are pretty cool. And I don't recall, um, does it count down the boost? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I Very good. All right, next winner. And here we go. Next winner is Big T127. Now, this is a Frogger clone, and I just love the cute hand drawn actors. Um, your goal when you play is to reach the beach. If I'm in there, at the end of the thing. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to go see mom and dad yet. Let's see. I'm <laughs> trying. I'm really trying to get to mom and dad. Like anything, it's hard. Almost. <laughs> oh. Edge, maybe. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Very clever. Okay, the I, next winner. Oh, the next winner is Digital Jedi. I love this one. It's all hand-drawn fishes, jellyfish, uh, little fish, bigger fish. It's got a orca in the end and everything is animated. And you, you can see the list of upgrades there and you eat the small fish. It also has this larger screen. You can sort of pan the screen and you can go extend to the sides, right? And my favorite part of this is when you level up, your uh, enemies in the previous level become food. So you're almost evolving in the food chain there. <laughs> yeah. I did become a big cool. fish. Oh, I think I got eight, eaten. Oh, poor me. All right, we got two more winners. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna show one more, and then we're gonna announce a bunch of winners, and then we're gonna show the grand prize winner for the week. Cool. Uh, so this is by Chris G, and it's sort of a, a Peggle style arcade game where you try to hit as many of those green circles as you can. So you click and drag on the cannon to fire, and then it's really fun just seeing it bounce around and hit as many as you can. I want to try to get one of those blue ones. Let's see if I can angle the cannon, cannon a little more. Oh, didn't get a blue one. Very fun. All right. So I think you guys have some more uh, winners before the grand prize to talk about. I think there's one more. Well, there was a there's a few more in the there's list. A list of uh, winners. Does it? Yes. I'm gonna just read it out here. So um, there is a twinkle, 
RCT 1504, this exceptional sensation, Scotch McCool, chocolate chip, hasty rock, Phoenix. And Terry, I'm not sure if you showed the pinball one yet. Oh, did I skip one? Oh, yeah, I'm so I, sorry. I think we should uh, show that pinball one. Just the very last one. It's the last one on the right. Yeah, that one. Oh, well, and this winner is? So the, pin, the pinball game by LOL2 was a creative use of what you learned la in the last couple weeks with the crazy contraption to make a fun game. I think this is right. probably one of the... We haven't seen a pinball one here before, so we thought that was pretty cool. Okay, it's gonna go to the flappers pretty soon. Let me see if I can get them. Get it, get it, Terry. Get it. Oh, come on. Oh, was not, not, pinball is not my game, huh? All right, so I believe that there is our final winner, and it looks like with our technical difficulties, we lost the link. So give me one second, and I'll pull it back, but why don't you talk about our winner while I get that link back up? Yeah. So our, our winner for week seven was Einstein's Child with this awesome uh, three-game arcade game. So from the moment we opened up this project, it just felt like an arcade game. You, uh, you get to see these animated cabinets, um, and it all looked hand-drawn. And then you drag a token into whatever arcade game you want to play. Um, it was just really cool. And then the three games were sort of a Pac-Man style, a Space Invaders style, or a Pong style game. And we are going to show it. It's just going to take me a second to get the link. And congratulations to uh, Einstein's Child. Sorry, my internet is running a little slow. I just wanted to say I love the addition of um, the token needed to go into the arcade machine to play the game. That was super cool. I think I, I love that. Yeah, it's still loading, guys. <laughs> it's one of those. Tyler, Tyler, what did you like about it? What stood out to you? I love that in the game. All right, here it is. So I hope everyone can see this. As they said, it's really creative. We've got three arcade games. And uh, should we play one of them? Which one do you guys want me to play? I just want to point out, look at those arcade arcade machines there, illuminating all hand-drawn, very nicely done. Um, How about Space Invaders? That's all right. my personal favorite. His favorite. We got to play the favorite. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. Well, congratulations, Einstein's Child, and congratulations, everyone. Everyone who submitted, everyone who pried a project, everybody who won, everybody. It's it's really exciting to watch all of your projects. They're really amazing. Yeah, I want to say that every single submission is a winner for the Tinker team, right? Uh, we love to see all your submissions, and we've received, you know, close to, I think, 30,000 submissions so far. And um, I, I think, you know, I hope you all had fun and you were engaged and you loved building these projects because we love seeing it. Um, pretty amazing, guys. And you're doing such a great job. Keep it up. And one more week this week. So please get those projects Last in. week, yeah. And make sure you submit all the eight weeks because the grand prize is $2,000. That's right. All right, guys, I'm going to end this week. Sorry for all our technical difficulties. We will get those ironed out uh, for next week and for the week after when we announce the grand prize. And don't and remember, don't stop coding, even if that's the last week, right? Keep 
doing it because this is a great skill to have in whatever career you choose, right? So don't stop coding. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.